everyone, this is Silent Starling again. I'm here with another Dauntless Behemoth tutorial. Uh, before I start this one, I wanted to make you guys aware of some of the new interface going on that's updated since my last Shrike video. Um, so when you get on the ship for the lobby for a hunt, um, it's going to give you a lot more information about the behemoth that you're fighting now, which I think is very helpful. So if you look at the hunt info on the right, it gives you the threat level of the behemoth. So it'll compare the difficulty of that behemoth to other behemoths. So the quill shot is rated a little bit higher than the Nasher and the Shrike. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. It also shows you recommended weapon and armor power compared to what you currently have equipped. So it'll tell you where you stand based on what they think you should have to fight that behemoth. It'll also give you elemental um, weaknesses and strengths once you're fighting elemental behemoths, which Quillshot is neutral, so that's why that area is blank. So today we are going to fight a Quillshot, which is the last current neutral behemoth. Uh, I'm wearing the quill shot set right now, which is one of my favorite sets. I really enjoy it. And I'm also going to use guns today because guns are what I recommend for the first couple times that you're going to fight a quill shot because it allows you to sit back a little bit more and be a little more cautious and defensive because the quill shot moves a lot faster than Shrike and Nasher do. Um, as you upgrade your guns, you're going to get lots more customization with the barrels and the different handles and so it's going to change like what your abilities do um but for the purpose of this video since usually when you fight a quill shot it's when you've just started leveling up your guns so i'm using all of the basic gun components currently a little more leveled than they might be when you get here but that's okay all right so let's go there he is there's our quill shot so the big thing about this guy that's different from the other two behemoths that you've most likely encountered so far is these lovely spikes he's about to grow. Yeah, there they are. Alright, so these spikes are pretty annoying. Here's one of his spike attacks right now. He's going to shoot these around, and they're going to be pretty annoying. Here's his second quill attack. There are three of them. So let's just run around and observe these right now. Let's see if he does the third one. Not currently. So, a couple annoying things about these quills. Um, they're covering all the parts that you want to break. Except for the hind legs. So, if you desperately need quill shot parts, but everybody keeps killing the quill shot, go for the back legs. Those are the ones that you're most likely to be able to get break parts from. Alright, this quill attack is my least favorite. Because, honestly, those are the quills that are the most likely to hit you no matter where you're standing. So my recommendation when he does that particular quill attack is to put your weapon away and run. That one that he just did, when he plants his feet like that and arches his back, he's going to shoot quills in a circle around him, so just back up. That one's not too complicated. The biggest issue with the quill shot beside his spikes is the fact that he's so much faster than the other things. All right, there's that attack. Put the guns away. Alright, here's his third quill attack when he shoots them out of his back. So when he slams onto his side like that, just don't be facing his back. Face the other side of him. So, yeah. The big thing about your quill shot here is just the first couple times you're fighting him, don't be worried about playing a little defensive. Alright, especially if you're using guns, make sure when he does that attack, put your guns away so you can actually run. Because you can't run with your guns out. Alright, so we're definitely going to focus on these back legs, simply because they don't get quills over them. Alright, now notice, the quills on his back are broken, but the quills on his shoulders were still there. He didn't shoot quills out of the part where, the, where his back is broken. So, if we break all of the quills on his back, he's not going to be able to use any of those shooting attacks anymore, so let's try that. Alright, rope one, there's one more left. There they go. So now if he tries to do another quill attack, it's not going to work. He might not even try to do it now, because it's not going to work. Except when he does that. When he empowers, he's going to grow some more quills. Not all of them, as you can see, but he grew some. Usually when he empowers, this is the attack he does right after, so when I see him empower, I just go ahead and put my guns away. 
All right, because the quill shot attacks so much faster than the Shrike and the Nasher, I recommend don't even try healing or charging up a strong attack or anything like that until he's finished an attack. If you try to do it right before an attack, you're probably not gonna have enough time and he might hit you. So, something to keep an eye of, keep an eye out on and be careful about. It takes a while to differentiate on site those two different stances that he does for the two different quill attacks. Uh, but to be safe, whenever he does either of them, just put your weapons away and back up until you can tell the difference. Alright. The big thing about him that's not quills is really just the same thing with any other behemoth, where you really just need to watch his movements and learn his tells. Especially because he attacks pretty fast. Alright, so now we've broken a lot of his quills, so I'll be able to actually damage the arm, the head, underneath. And so, it'll actually be effective and break parts. Alright, so he's leaving. So, we're gonna go find him again, and when we find him, he's going to regrow all of his quills again. It's not gonna be like when he enrages, when he grows some of them, he's going to grow all of them every time he leaves. So, just be prepared for that drink as necessary. Um, if you're getting hit by his quill attacks a lot, I really recommend the potion I have in my bottom slot. Uh, the bulwark, bulwark potion? The, po the little blue potion with a shield on it is very helpful because it'll reduce the damage that his next three attacks do to you. And they're pretty cheap to make and you learn them really early on. So I recommend using those potions for this guy when you're getting the hang of him. I don't have a recommended weapon for him besides using guns the first couple times. I change what I use on him, honestly. I don't always use the same thing on him. His quills are easy to break, so it's not like you need a hammer for those or anything, so. All right, I'm just gonna wail on him for a bit, let you guys watch and get a handle on his attack animations for a bit. Running in a circle is the most effective. That way you don't accidentally double back and possibly run into a quill that he was shooting where you were a minute ago. That one was a close one. That attack is probably his fastest one. was an actual leg break and not a quill break, so that's what you want to see. Ooh, that was a good one. And he's dead. There you go, that's how you fight a quill shot. <laughs> 